एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज़ मनदीप एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रैंडम फॉरेस्ट ऑन वाइट बोर्ड एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डू इट्स प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू रिकमेंड और टेल यू दैट इफ यू हैव जम्प्ड डायरेक्टली ऑन दिस वीडियो सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज हैव ए लुक ऑन द वीडियो ऑफ डिसीजन ट्रीज विच इज इन द सेम प्ले लिस्ट बिकॉज इन रैंडम फॉरेस्ट वी यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिसीजन ट्रीज सो इट विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू हैव ए लुक बिफोर जम्पिंग ऑन टू दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज्यूमिंग दैट द पीपल हु आर वॉचिंग दिस दे हैव सम नॉलेज अबाउट डिसीजन ट्रीज हाउ डिसीजन ट्रीज आर क्रिएटेड हाउ दे वर्क Uh, so in random forest what actually happens and what is random forest very first of all random forest is a supervised supervised ml algorithm and it can be used for uh, uh, classification problems as well as regression problems so this uh, this algorithm can be used to solve both type of problems so this is an idea about uh, or definition about uh, random forest or introduction of it so how actually it works uh, let me tell you how it actually works so assume that we have a data set of this size and out of this data set uh, we kind of let's say divided it into this is our test data set and this one is our training data set so uh, how actually it works so this is my training data set and this is my test data set how actually random forest works so in random forest we what we do we kind of divide our training data set into Uh, smaller subsets let's say i divided it into let's say 1 2 3 4 five five uh, different small subsets so then what we do further we create a decision tree out of each data set and the same way let's say i create a decision tree for this data set this is just for pictorial uh, pictorial representation and the similar way we create a decision tree for each of the data set and after creating decision tree for each of the data set uh, every decision tree uh, give us some prediction so uh, in uh, when it gives some prediction uh, if it is a regression problem then we take uh, average of each of the prediction average of predictions this is for uh, regression problems but if it is a, a classification problem we do not take uh, because uh, in classification problem we divide our data into different classes so we take majority vote here so let's say uh, my decision tree one has Uh, predicted as a class one, this tree also predicted as class one. This predicted and uh, this tree predicted, let's say class two, one, one, two, and this has let's say class three. So out of these prediction, I am going to take uh, since class one has maximum number of words, so I am going to take a class one as my final prediction. So this is uh, generally how random forest actually works, and. Uh, the other thing which is resolved in uh, ra random forest which was earlier there in uh, decision trees um, here we do not uh, generally get uh, in the trap of overfitting which generally happens in the uh, decision trees concept so this is how uh, your random forest works now let me take a quick very quick example real life example of Uh, random forest how to solve a real life problem using random forest assume that we have a very big basket of fruits and let's say uh, that basket is filled with lots of fruit different fruits let's say we have apple 
मैंगो एंड ऑरेंज एंड पाइनएप्पल पाइनएप्पल एंड देर आर मैनी नंबर ऑफ अदर फ्रूट्स आर ऑल्सो देयर ग्रेप्स बनाना आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग फॉर द सेक ऑफ पर्पज बिकॉज आई एम नॉट रियली गुड इन ड्रॉइंग सो नाउ लेट्स ए वी हैव मैनी फ्रूट्स इन अ बास्केट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेंडम फॉरेस्ट टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम टू प्रडिक्ट दैट वट काइंड ऑफ पर्टिकुलर फ्रूट इज सो हाउ वी विल सॉल्व यूजिंग दिस वट वी विल डू वी विल काइंड ऑफ क्लासीफाई और डिवाइड दिस डेटा सेट इन टू स्मॉलर डेटा सेट्स वी विल गिव स्मॉलर बास्केट्स एंड pick uh, some random fruits from here and put it here and the similar way in all these three baskets after that what we will do uh, from based on the data in this basket uh, we are going to create random for uh, sorry decision tree and uh, the similar way we are going to create a decision tree over here Uh, the similar way i created a decision tree over here as well now let's say after creating decision tree now this uh, decision tree predicted that uh, the given fruit is an apple this tree uh, predicted that given fruit is an orange and the third tree which is um, uh, predict which predicted assume that is an apple so what we are going to do uh, we are going to take majority vote because the two tree out of three have predicted it as an apple so our final uh, will be uh, final answer from the random forest will be an apple so this is how a uh, random forest actually works please let me know if you want something else to be covered um, in this machine learning playlist Till then bye bye take care see you